third major story tonight, the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee is stepping aside from that panel's investigation into alleged ties between the Trump campaign and Russian officials. Correspondent Peter Ducey tells us why the change, who's running point now, and for how long. There's a new Republican in charge of the House Intel Committee's Russia probe, Texas Congressman Mike Conaway, who found out Chairman Devin Nunes was going to step down when the phone rang last night. His decision. He called me in, asked me to do it, and I said yes. The announcement that Nunes was stepping aside came just minutes before the House Ethics Committee made an announcement of its own. Quote, the committee is aware of public allegations that Representative Devin Nunes may have made unauthorized disclosures of classified information in violation of House rules, law, regulations, or other standards of conduct. A lawyer for Nunes has already asked the Ethics Committee what evidence it has on him, but he's already narrowed down who he thinks complained. The California congressman says, quote, Several left-wing activist groups have filed accusations against me with the Office of Congressional Ethics. The charges are entirely false and politically motivated and are being leveled just as the American people are beginning to learn the truth about the improper unmasking of the identities of U.S. citizens and other abuses of power. Nunes has been under scrutiny ever since he says a source showed him documents proving the Obama administration inappropriately signed off on the unmasking of Trump transition officials named in Intel reports. Documents his Russia probe replacement still hasn't seen. Have you seen the documents? Not yet. That, so you have not seen what it was not that since last night, not on Air Force One, President Trump talked about Nunes stepping aside. I think he did that maybe for his own reason. He's a high quality person. Speaker of the House Paul Ryan doesn't think Nunes did anything wrong either. He wants to go clear himself while this investigation continues on without any kinds of distractions. Even the top Democrat on the House Intel Committee praised Nunes today. I'm sure it was a very difficult decision for him, uh, but as he mentioned, I think it is in the best interest of the investigation. As for what happens next, Congressman Conaway knows the next few months will be a challenge. What is your biggest concern as you take over this Russia Intel probe? Um, it's a lot of uh, it's a, the scope is big. I mean, there are a lot of things going on, a lot of issues to be uh, you know find get to the bottom of. Another big question tonight: Is President Obama's former National Security Advisor Susan Rice going to be called to testify to answer to allegations that she unmasked the identities of Trump transition officials who appeared in Intel reports for political purposes? Chairman Conaway wouldn't say if an invitation has been extended because he doesn't want to conduct committee business in the press. Brett. Peter Ducey live on Capitol Hill. Peter, thank you.